much only an Olympian and um, a breaker of boundaries really for women, uh, but she kind of invented some things for women. So um, talk about the two piece, because I don't remember seeing a two piece on the screen for this era before. Yeah, I think also it's her invention and the original suits were really, really heavy. And if swimming, the water makes it more heavy and it's all hanging here on the shoulder straps. So somehow after swimming, sometimes you have bloody shoulders and that happened to Trudy. So they thought about how to make it lighter that not so much weight comes to the shoulders. So they cut it and then uh, they used the belt. And in the movie, we used uh, parts of suspenders, uh, what Bill Burgess was wearing. Uh, from the suspenders, uh, we made a kind of belt so that it keeps the panty in the place. They cut it into pieces and uh, that was also a shock for everybody who saw that because it was extremely indecent to swim like this. As this whole swimming story is about decency because you were not allowed to show uh, skin of your arms, you were not allowed to show skin of your legs, later on you were allowed to show 12 inches of <laughs> your legs. So they still wear some stockings on the beach, but they roll them down under the knee to be a little bit more sexy and have a little bit more fresh air. And because they wear the stockings, they also needed to wear shoes on the beach. So it was a bit ridiculous, but that were the rules. And there were even some kind of beach police uh, checking that nobody showed too much skin. So really different times from now. What was it like working with Daisy Ridley? She's, of course, well known from the Star Wars series and a great actress. Um, were there any things that you had to accommodate for maybe her in particular? I must say, Daisy, she has something very special because she has this outstanding beauty, what is indestructible. So whatever you dress her, she still looks same beautiful. That was why I very often said to Daisy, okay, let's bring it more down because you look beautiful. But Trudy Idal was not at all interested in being beautiful or show of something. So, but she looks beautiful in very simple things and whatever you put on her. We realized in the first fitting that she has this, and this is a very important ingredient for being a star, I would say. And of course, she's a fighter because this swimming was not at all easy and just swimming. It was really hard, hard work, and she worked really hard. And with the costumes, they didn't make it easier. Is there an item? in young woman and the sea that you think could catch on with the general public and we'll be seeing it in the coming years. I mean, the whole time when we made it, I thought uh, those swimming suits are so cool and they are much cooler as the suits we have today or our bikinis. So I thought, yeah, well, I really love to see them and to have them. They had also some kind of beach boots, but I think we used them also maybe on Meg. Um, you know, they are like boots for boxers, kind of, but from satin and in white and black or black and white. They were really, really chic that I thought, oh, I want to have them myself. As a, a former fashion editor, I was like, how can I get those boots? I want them. I want to wear them on the street, not on the beach. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I thought the same. And we made them uh, with the Italian shoe designer. And also he said, yeah, this is a cool model. I should make more of them. <laughs> Maybe we'll start a trend by advocating that people 
go out and see the movie and ask for those boots. Thank you so much, Gabriel. It's been such a pleasure talking to you. Um, your expertise, your charm, and of course your warmth comes across in the outfits and lends so much to the movie. Thank you for making the time for us. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. And it's always a real pleasure to talk to you.